two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Certainly the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping bear witness to observe all these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, in search of ideas, of conflict, of rivalries, where people develop a distinctive desire for direct engagement where people feel involved with the stories and therefore become product of influence. Thirsty for distraction from time unspent, from lackluster lifestyles, spoiling their minds while stimulating them at the exact same time. It's brilliant, but it's also dangerous. It's dangerous. I feel as if my life has been positioned to where I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's it's mesmerizing, it's enthralling, it's spellbinding. Just look at all these consumers, all of these lost and bored people consuming anything that they're told to consume. I am the villain. Make myself one. And people will consume these stories year after year after year. Stories that, stories that shock, that confuse, stories that are deliberately made to blur the boundaries between fact and fiction. Stories that permeate infect and linger in the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ant. I woke up this morning to money deposited into my account for simply not doing something. For simply not going through with something. People are the most fucked up creatures on this planet. And you will continue to consume. And I'll continue steps ahead. Today, I thought it would be a splendid idea to go out and get some food and feel it for you. Gee, are you surprised? Have you forgotten the story? After all, you're here to consume, are you not?